Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daytime Tri-Cities. I'm Chris McIntosh, along with Anna Zook, and we have some beautiful flowers on the desk, and it is a beautiful day outside. Oh, my gosh. First of all, I can smell the flowers right Those, now. They are beautiful. Oh. They smell great, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some. Uh, Linda Dunn is actually going to give me some. I'm going to take them over to my mother later oh, on. I'm going to go visit isn't her. That sweet. So I'm going to take some beautiful flowers over there. We're going to be talking about wildflowers and beautiful flowers coming up in just a few moments. Yeah, it's going to be great. You don't see it right now, but there are some beautiful floral arrangements over in the corner of the set right now. Cannot wait to get yes. and talk about those. Uh, but first, we have a lot of things that we can talk about today. First yes. of all, Beautiful flowers, beautiful weather. It is gorgeous It's supposed to be outside. beautiful today. I just hope, the, you know, there's a little chance of rain each day. I just mm -hmm. kind of hope, you know, maybe at night or something. Yeah, just so, one more sleeping. Yes, that's that's fine. That's fine. But, no, I'm looking for, I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. 80s by the weekend. Oh it's going to be really nice. It so. really is going to be so nice. It will be a great day, you know, maybe to grab a beverage, cold one. You know, right? <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that when it gets that warm? We you were talking about one. this this morning. But, you know, we've got all these different kinds of yogas that go on mm -hmm. now. we got hot goat, yoga. Hot we, yoga. we got cat yoga. We've got goat, goat yoga. I was just telling Chris <laughs> about goat yoga yesterday. <laughs> that kind of surprises me, but, uh, you know, whatever. I think but, it's great. I would love to do goat yoga. But now there's a new one. There is a new one. Beer yoga. I love <laughs> this idea. I think this is hilarious. So it actually originated in Germany. I'm sure. Okay. Right? Yeah, that makes more Either sense. Either Germany or Johnson City, Tennessee, because we're all about craft beer in Johnson City. Yeah, Tennessee. exactly, right? <laughs> we have a ton of breweries here. No, it originated in Germany. Mm -hmm. Now it's really popular in Asia, and people are loving it. <laughs> I mean, basically what you do is you are one with your beer bottle, <laughs> which so you is got so to, funny. You have to con they want you to concentrate on the bottle. Concentrate on the bottle. And if, you know, you need something, if you are thirsty or anything, just you can just go and, go I, and take a little sip of that bottle. Yeah, if you need some hydration, right? Yeah, okay. But, you know, I think you might need a designated driver for this class, too. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, let's be real. You're not having four right. beers. Yeah, but still. You're having one. Be careful out there. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier today, and one of our coworkers said, it's a little counterproductive, isn't it? It is a little. It, a little bit, yeah, because there's a, most beers, a lot of calories there. Right, so. exactly. And when you're doing yoga, you know, you're not really thinking about adding on the LBs from the I love the lady the that, you know, they're doing, the, they're, they're setting up and they're taking the bottle and taking yep. the drink. It seems like such a simple movement, right? <laughs> Maybe that's something we can try later on. Uh, <laughs> Another really viral video going around right. today. I know you're a huge sports fan. You yes. like baseball, right? I love baseball. Played baseball in high school. Loved it. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, we are in the middle of baseball season. Right. And check out this video right here. It's from the Toronto right. Blue Jays and the St. Louis Cardinals game. Uh, so, There's Chris Coughlin. He's yeah. hitting one off the wall. Okay, yeah. so he's chugging for all he's worth right now. Look, Look at he's trying I mean, to make he it is, home. He is just heading trying for to home, score. and he looks like he's just dead to rights right here. And then whoop, there you go. Wow, literally. That's how over. you. That's how you score. That right is. There. Look at that. Right <laughs> over Yadier Molina. And now let's check out the right slow motion. Top. There you right go. Right there. I'm surprised he didn't break an arm, separate a shoulder, hurt his neck, he's good. something. But he's he all good. He walked away. He right. just stood up and walked away. And he scored. <laughs> and if you didn't notice right there, it was already 2-2. Two to two. So it was tied. Yes. It's a big game. Yeah. And the Cardinals are good, yeah. right? And the, so the, the Blue, Blue Jays, Jays aren't bad. No, the Blue Jays actually ended up winning yes, that game. Yes, they won 6-5. to five. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I will say that video, when I saw that this morning, I was just thinking, that is how you tie. <laughs> you know, you add an extra scoreboard. That's how you break a tie. Yeah. Loved it. I loved that it. That is a great video. That'll be that'll be on ESPN and everywhere for days to come. Yeah. So. What is it? The top ten the that top ESPN 10 does? Plays of the day. I have yeah. a feeling that might be top one. Yeah. That oh. was pretty impressive. <laughs> Very flexible. I wonder how sore he is this morning. He's uh, kind of just like no, nah, those I guys. Hurt my they're, shoulders. So, they're in such good shape. Now me, I'd be traction somewhere. <laughs> He'd be kind of just hobbling yeah. along. <laughs> I think well, I would be too. Yeah. I don't do those normally. You don't. <laughs> Back in the day when I did gymnastics, yes. We can get out later and get a camera and reenact that, and you do the jumping part. Okay, I'll you'll be the, the catcher. <laughs> we would have to put a padded ground down for me just in case it I'd ended up going wrong. I'd pay money to see wrong. that. I really would. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> we got a great show lined up for you today, folks. We've got a ton of guests coming up today. So fun, so informative. We've got a lot going on around town. We're going to tell you everything that's going on, but be sure now to stay tuned for our daily Pledge of Allegiance. It's brought to you by Botman Bernard. Today's pledge comes from Candace Copes and Whitney Yearys, third grade classes at Rose Hill Elementary School. Horizon Credit Union is a premier sponsor of Daytime Tri-Cities.